All right, I am going to start. Can, uh, can you see the homework assignment on the screen right now? Anybody? Yes. Okay. I just want to mention one more time. Again, this is due on Friday. If you do need, if you have some time this weekend, you do need to turn it on Monday, it's okay. All right. I like to grade them on Sunday, but we'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Remember, I have given you a completed version for problem number one. I want you to go out to Material.io slash develop slash Android, look at the material design stuff, and please add um, <clears throat> you know, colors, designs, whatever to it. That's the first one. The second one, you were supposed to redo the guessing game app that you created in the earlier lab. Again, if it didn't work before, fix it and add some colors, et cetera, on it. And the reason I'm having you do that and having you go out, look at styles, look at themes, look at colors, et cetera, you will need to do that on the hands-on test that you're going to be given on Friday. All right. And then finally, for the last problem, create your own app called original that that has at least a recycler view and at least one other um, activity that it goes to. All right, hopefully all of that made sense. The other thing is just so you know what I sent you today, just a one page, it's from the actual RV example, but I added some more um, comments and stuff on here. What you'll notice if you look up here is when you start when you start to use recycler views, you get a lot of import statements, all right? I try to come in here and explain even again some more. When you come in, if, if all you do is you type in this, that you can see in gray right here, all right? If you type in a line like that, and then you put in your curly brace, and you hit enter so it creates another curly brace for you, you're gonna get a bunch of errors on this line. If you take your mouse and you put it like over my adapter and you hold down on the alt key and you press enter, it is going to tell you that you have to implement these three methods. All right. So if you tell it to do that, it's kind of like using getter and setter in that if you tell it to do that, if you highlight the methods and say, boom, it'll put them in for you. Now they don't have any code really in there. This has got return zero. And I think this, these two have like return null or something like that. But if you need that to get started, the other thing that you're going to get if you do this, since you're using view holder in here, you're going to get an error message from here then that tells you that you must create a view holder class that typically you put down near the bottom of the screen. You don't have to put it there, but most people do. All right. And it's a public class within a public class. For lack of better words, this class right here kind of acts like the main activity does, all right, for your, for your recycler view, all right? So just quickly, <clears throat> again, we've talked about this before, but as it says, the adapter is the main code responsible for your recycler view. It's the one that's going to hold all those methods. All right, notice it has the responsibility to, to bind data sets and a data set basically is the data that you have in there to views that will be displayed in a window. So again, the idea behind a recycler view is that it allows you to put more things into a list than you can display on a screen at any one time. And it's called a recycler view because it uses the same area of your screen because that's all it has. And as you take your, your hand and, you know, either, either take your hand on a real phone and you flick up or flick down or on your emulator, if you click and drag up or drag down, you're going to see that you end up using the same area to hold all that stuff. All right. And again, as it says, an adapter is a subclass of recycler view dot adapter. That's why you need this here. You can call the adapter anything you want. All right. 
So again, these are the methods. We'll look at them in just a second, but I do want to show you from in here. This thing, you can go look it up on screen if you want, but you may or may not remember one of the things that we have talked about in this class, and we talked about it back in the days of Java in this class, and that was the word this. All right, this basically stands for what's the currently active thing in your program. All right, so why am I telling you that? Because you don't really have a this so much when you're working with an adapter. Instead, you need something that's called context. All right, now we have looked at before, we've actually used things like get application context, but actually inside of here, inside of the adapter, notice you're passing a context in. All right. So in here, what's happening in this adapter as it's going through, and in my case here, because I have those 10 different uh, languages that we go over in class. So the data, all right, the data that was in there <clears throat> was basically those 10 different images. Well, I shouldn't say that. The data was the, the 10 different names of the courses. The data, or that's data one. The data two was the semester basically they're, they're taught in, and the images are just that. The key thing when working with images in here, if you wanna bring them into, if you wanna bring them into a recycler view, is what you end up working with in here is the position. And that's literally what it is. When you use the position, you're saying, which one of these is current? So again, when you look in here you and you need a constructor, but all this constructor is doing is it's basically grabbing the current item, all right? And it's grabbing its information and its image and it's passing it in, all right? Then we have this on create view holder. And as it says, it deals with what's called inflating the layout. And when you inflate the layout, all right, basically, you know, think of the word view holder. It's holding the view. What's the view? The view is currently, technically, you know, in the example that I gave you, there were 10 views because there's 10 of those images with the little descriptions there, all right? And as you're going through and as the system is saying, oh, numbers one and two are off the screen now and nine and 10, which couldn't fit before, they're now on the screen, it's inflating. It's making all of that stuff available for lack of better words. Now that might not be put that well, but hopefully you get the idea. So that's what this is doing right here, all right? And again, it understands context. It doesn't have to be passed in because it was passed in up above, all right? So this is setting up the inflator. This is actually doing the inflating. And this is grabbing, going and grabbing your new view, all right? After that, you've got on bind view holder, which as it says, it deals with the settings, all right? So what does that mean, all right? It's basically, and it says related to the clicks, well, what does it have to do in here? Well, notice what it's saying. It's saying that my text one, which is defined up here someplace, I don't remember where, but my text one is going to be associated with the, that position in that particular array. Remember, data one, data two, and int, they're all arrays, all right? And you've seen this kind of stuff before where you set up an on-click listener, all right? You set up an intent, so what's this doing? This is saying whichever, <clears throat> whichever view is currently active, if you click on that, bring up the second activity and make sure that you pass in all of the current information, all right? Finally, again, you've got, and this is pretty simple, this get item count. Now, sometimes you're going to see in here, just so you know, all right, that, you know, if, notice I've got images.length, okay? And that's fine, but just so you know, 
All right, sometimes you'll see this, and I put it in an example in that advanced resume app that I've hopefully just about got finished up. But sometimes what you'll see in there is something like this. If um, images dot length equal equal zero, meaning there's nothing in there, return zero, and then this. So in other words, if for some reason you had an empty array, it would return zero. Why am I doing that? Because if you don't, the program will literally bomb. It'll just, it'll stop right there. If it's expecting something and there's absolutely nothing there. And you can say, well, what's the difference? You are returning zero. So it knows that at least there's a length, there's nothing in it still, but it understands at least that there's a length. The program typically won't do anything, but it also won't break, all right? Okay, and finally, again, I went over this a little bit before, but as it says here, the views in a list are represented by view holder objects. So all this, this stuff that's in here, for lack of better words, kind of works in unison with each other, all right? And I don't know about you, but you know, when you think about it, there's very few apps that you probably have on your phone that are just a single screen. Most of the time, you will click on one screen to bring up another screen. And that's what we're talking about in here. That's why I consider this to be important enough that I wanted us to spend some time on it. Now, that said, I have decided you will not have to create for, for the test um, that you're going to be doing on Thursday. You will not have to create any recycler views. All right. Virtually uh, most of the stuff that's on the test is again going to be with you working with styles, themes, etc. There'll be a little more to it than that, but by and large, that's the most important part. All right. Um, that's really all I have. But what I want the only the only other thing I wanted to say is we will have a regular class tomorrow. It won't be very long again, but I want to explain to you what you're going to have to do and what you should study for as far as the test goes on Thursday. And then Thursday, I will send the test out, all right, at about 12.30, okay? And um, I'll get on, get on with you again, but just for about five minutes or so, just to get you started and the rest of the period will be yours. So unless anyone has any questions, that's all that I had. All right, so feel free to drop off or whatever. Chris, I see you got here a little late, just so you know this is being taped. Anybody still there? Anybody have any questions? Otherwise, feel free to just log yourself off, okay? Are you still there, Chris?